Hello everyone, boy, do I have a interesting video for you guys today. Oh, one sec, I gotta take a piss. I'm committing a little bit of a rep sin here, you know? A lot of people who buy real shoes, they consider it like a sin, you know? Breaking the law, you're gonna go to jail if you buy a rep. Today, I'm breaking a rep sin, and I'm actually gonna buy a real pair of shoes. But it's not just a real pair of shoes, you know? It's a quote-unquote real pair of shoes from Panda Buy. I know. Panda buy. Real shoes and Panda buy are two words that don't really go together. You can huff, puff, get oiled up all you want, but if you told anybody out there in real life that you got a pair of shoes on Panda buy, they're gonna think they're fake as f even if they literally passed every single legit check, went through stock, it doesn't matter. If you say you got the shoes on Panda buy, people are gonna think they're fake. Contrary to popular belief, Panda buy does not actually sell fakes. Panda buy just helps you ship stuff from China, you know, all the way over here in the great land of China over to the United States or, you know, whatever third world piece of shit country you live in. So Panda buy doesn't sell anything. Panda buy just helps you ship stuff from China to wherever you live. But China is full of fakes. That is true. That is true, little Nino. But listen, China is quite literally the most populated country in the world. And if you're from the CSGO community, you're in the CSGO community, you'll understand a little issue with like buff and currency. It's a little bit cheaper to buy skins in Chinese markets because the conversion rate's a lot better. I mean, they live in a fucking communist country. They're, they rule with an iron fist. Obviously, it's a lot harder to get money over there. China, they're, they're pocket watching, all right? You can't get to the bag. You cannot have motion over there. They don't give a fuck. If you try to make money that they can't touch, it's going to be minus a thousand social credit right there. So I thought maybe, you know, getting a real pair of shoes on Panda Buy wouldn't really be that bad. And after about a month of waiting and buying stuff, they finally came in. I spent a thousand dollars, a thousand dollars on these Travis Scott Jordan 1 highs right here. We're going to look at them in just one second, little Nino. Hold on. And also like the video, bro. I took a huge risk buying these thousand dollar fakes. Maybe I'm putting you on some method too. So maybe, you know, leave me a little, maybe, you know, leave me a little, leave me a little like and a sub. You know, it's not that hard. It's two buttons. So basically, we got Panda Buy right here. And how I found out about this whole little thing was I just looked up Travis Scott Jordan 1 High. Went over to Images, grabbed that first image, hit Copy, hit Paste up here. And look at that. Look at Panda Buy, dude. They got 1688 Taobao with QC. Look at all this shit, bro. They are advanced. You might have to use a more generic pair of shoes. So if you sort it by price, you can actually see people who are charging a lot of money. And I figured, why would anybody be selling fakes for like $1,000? You know, who would fall? for that inside China. You know, China already is not an easy country to make money in, right? Like, who the fuck is going to try and scam another Chinese man of $1,000? Like, I feel as if it's a hard sell. So as much as I would like to sit here and look for sellers, I actually already found a few. So I'm just going to use that. One of the first sellers that I did find was this guy right here. It's loading up. Don't worry. Wait, we got to put this into Panda Buy. Holy shit, this guy's got some fucking grails. And you can kind of tell just by like how many shoes they have. And if it was somebody trying to scam, I feel like, why the fuck would they have these LeBron 10s right here? You know, like, I've never even seen reps of half these shoes. Like, who's trying to make a come up on fucking LeBron nines, bro? But again, what I did was I just sort by price. I come on here. Oh, wow. Yeah, I found them. Holy fuck. Fuck. He's got the V-Lone Air Force Ones for $6,000, bro. How much do these even go for? He's got two, bro. Oh, okay. That's a little sus. I'm not going to lie. How do, you, how do you, he had four. He has three pairs of these. He has a 10, 10 and a half and a 12 and a half. I think that is. That could be a come up on StockX. The lowest ask is $9,600. What's the highest bid? One dollar? Come on now. Sixty? He wants sixty-three hundred dollars, and they're three thousand dollars more. And the it says brand new, so I've never seen that box on any rep that I, I have a rep, and they did not come in a box like this. So I'm gonna assume that they might be real. Maybe ten thousand likes, and I'll buy it. But it's just to show you guys. All right, this guy. I mean, there's another pair right here. What is this? This one's probably worn. I imagine. No, new original box. Thirty-five hundred dollars for a size forty-three, which would be a nine. What? Wait, bro, that's ten thousand dollars. Okay, there's no ass for a nine and a half, but good gosh, man. I mean, this guy's got a whole lot of shit though. Quite literally, too. Some of this is actually shit, but a lot of it's a lot of it's some grail stuff. But sadly, I would go with a seller like this, but he doesn't have anything that really fits my criteria. The one thing I did really want is a shoe that I genuinely really like, which would be, you know, come on. We all know what I fucking bought. So here is another seller as well. I'm pretty sure this guy is mainly a Dunks connoisseur. Same thing, dude. Oh, what the fuck? Y'all see that? He got Freddy Krueger's. Holy shit. $148,000. Those might be real too. You know, like that aged look, that, those might be real. But again, dunks, you know, dunks, dunks aren't really my, I don't really want dunks. All right. I don't, I don't want dunks. 
I actually ended up going with this guy right here. He seemed to have the best prices in mind for what I wanted. He actually does have a pair of these Yeezy 2 Solar Reds right here, which I've been thinking about buying, but it's just like, that's way too, uh, come on, fucking $3,000. Come on, fuck. Imagine that gets seized. Oh my God, I would kill myself. But no, he has, he probably still has it on here, honestly. He probably does. Yeah, I think it was this one. He had this pair of Travis Scott Jordan 1 Highs right here. He said they're used, but when I looked at them, I'm like, bro, where the fuck did you use these? The bottoms are perfect. There's like no creasing, like no scuffs at all. You wanted just shy of a thousand dollars okay a thousand dollars is pretty expensive don't get me wrong but let's look up travis scott jordan one on StockX right here bro i'm telling you for my size a size 10 and a half fifteen hundred dollars brand new you could maybe send these to StockX and they might pass as brand new probably not but either way ended up buying them you can actually see if you come on here and you're a vip on panda you can see my reference photos are actually like you'll click on this it'll say a thousand dollars and you'll see yep here they are yep the sh these are actually my shoes i immediately the second they got into the warehouse i shipped them out to me whole process took about two and a half weeks i would say i had to find the right pair of shoes i wanted pay for them wait a couple days get qcs and then i shipped them out took me about a week and a half to get them so here they are i bought literally every extra protective thing i could buy for this because i didn't want the box to come in damaged at all i want them to come in perfect and i will say that it, it's pretty good there's no damage or anything so here is the shoe that i bought from panda buy for a thousand dollars it's quote unquote real i will say everything looks good about the shoe except for the suede i feel like everybody dick rode everybody on fashion reps you'll see oh the suede isn't good enough fucking red light all that sort of shit bro i've had reps with better suede than this this suede is not impressive to me maybe it needs a suede brush maybe it's been oxidized or something so it's it's just like not moving but there's there's no like movement on this at all it's just it's just a fucking shoe tiny bit of creasing on the toe so they are worn and the one thing i did notice is the insole is worn off so somebody definitely did try these on wear them maybe once or twice they babied the fuck out of them because they really have no big wear but yeah dude the bottoms dude there is i don't see a speck of dirt on the bottoms they must have put that weird like shoe condom thing on the bottom of their shoe i don't know i don't know why people do that but i guess good for me because these do not look dirty at all obviously these have to be the chinese release there's no way you got them shipped over you can see you know even with nike you got some bad qc i don't know if there's some paint smudging right here you can kind of see on the sole but again you know the suede it's just not like the hourglass isn't even really there the suede isn't great that's about it honestly everything else looks fine everything else i feel like it's been as good as my reps i just feel like my reps have been better i feel like my reps are better than this now the one cool thing is i do think it's real just off of this tag right here alone you can see it has a chinese tag it says jordan high og right there travis scott got some extra laces as well a lot of people were saying why it doesn't have like a retail thing on the front of the box and i think it could be because it's the chinese release i'm not too sure i put them on check check app and listen no matter what the result is i fucking hate check check app this is not sponsored no, no bullshit i don't care okay i had some extra credits from the last time i put shoes on check check and i decided to use them to see but i did put them on check check app you know i will put the result on the screen right here for you they did pass these do seem to be real that begs the question i bought these for a thousand dollars a good reseller vnds pretty much brand new could you know make these look nice on for thirteen fourteen hundred dollars even the v loans we looked at the diors all that sort of shit it's thousands of dollars to be made doing this am i supporting resellers or or, you know encouraging resellers no fuck that i fucking hate resellers but could be a potential market for those who are trying to buy a pair of shoes that they will actually wear but for whatever reason they need to be real because you have a fucking too high of an ego and you can't wear fake shoes whatever for those who have that sort of ego problem i suppose shit maybe panda buys for everybody maybe you don't need to just be only into fakes to like panda buy maybe you go down in the description hit my link you'll get some free shipping coupons and you can use code cdas get a little extra five percent off look at that i'm helping you get shoes and saving you money win win they are just shoes and even if they are real just fucking wear your shoes who cares i have a bunch of pairs of travis scott jordan ones i will compare them to let me know what you guys want me to do with these maybe i should give them out destroy them who knows who gives a fuck i mean they're just shoes It'd be kind of ironic if i like puppied these and like never wore them or did anything cool with them because i'm the guy that's always saying wear your shoes and now if i like don't wear these or something you know what i mean i fuck with y'all i love y'all boys i'm gonna see y'all later <sighs> What you bang? I got some niggas that throw up two guns, yeah. I don't give a fuck what you claim. Shirt still clean with a damn lean stain. No helicopter.